would like to talk to you today about a case study involving the use of the Dansac tray seal. My patient presented at clinic to see our consultant complaining of extremely sore peristomal skin. She'd had a subtotal colectomy in 2006 and subsequent formation of ileoanal pouch. She'd managed for several years with a good spouted stoma and no complications. Unfortunately, she de developed multiple anal fistulae and had a subsequent diagnosis of Crohn's colitis. This resulted in the formation of another endileostomy, which unfortunately was not as well spouted as her first stoma. The problems that she was having was that she had poor pouch adherence. Pouches were not staying on for more than a couple of hours and often she was changing her pouch four and five times per day. The peristomal skin was extremely sore. It was circumferential, which demonstrated that it was most probably fecal irritant contact dermatitis. She had a very poor quality of life. She was unable to go to work as she was a nurse and occupational health would not let her return to work while she had pouch leakage. The consultant asked me to review her. I took a history from her and noted all the products that she'd used over the years. And to, by the sounds of it, she had tried, tried absolutely everything. Every convex pouch, every seal, every product that was on the market, powder, barrier sprays. So I actually said to her I'd been given a supply of the new Dansac tray seal to, um, to use on patients to see if it was going to be effective. So I asked her if she would mind trying this product um, and she said she had nothing to lose because she tried everything else. I gave her a supply and I actually applied one in my clinic that day. What I did notice with the seal, her skin was extremely excoriated and wet. And what I did notice um, was the actual seal stuck straight away. Often when a seal is placed onto wet skin, it'll slide around, but I actually noticed it had really good adherence. So we managed to get a good seal with the skin and managed to get the, the pouch to seal on top of that. I asked her to go home and call me the next day to let me know how she'd got on. I gave her a supply of seals to take with her. She called me the next day and she'd managed to keep the pouch on for full 24 hours and she was absolutely delighted with this. I asked her how she felt removing the pouch and she said it was easy and the seal came away quite easily. Quite often with, um, with seals um, they can become quite macerated and they stick to the skin and they have to be sort of picked away but the seal came away intact so it had main maintained its integrity while it was on the skin um, and had been very absorbent. So th those qualities were things that she really liked and actually m made quite a difference um, in, in um, maintaining the pouch adherence. She used the pouches for several days with the seals until she ran out. She then rang me in a panic and sent me some subsequent photographs of her stoma um, which showed that the peristomal skin was yet again excoriated circumferentially which demonstrated that as soon as she stopped using the seal the skin became extremely sore again. I sent her a new supply of seals and within three to five days she sent me photographs again which demonstrated that the peristomal skin um, had returned back to normal. She was maintaining her pouch adherence and her quality of life had improved massively. Once peristomal skin was returned to its normal condition, the patient was a lot happier. Physically, she was no longer in pain and no longer suffering the embarrassment of leaking pouches. Psychologically, she was much happier. Um, pain obviously has a massive impact on people's psychological well-being. And, and she was um, much happier in subsequent clinic appointments. You could, you could see that in the way she was more relaxed and she was laughing and making jokes. Socially, she'd started to engage with friends and, and to start going out. And she'd also managed to return back to work. This had a very positive outcome for her financially because she, A, didn't have to travel into clinics any longer and, and B, she could actually start earning a proper wage again, which you know, has, a, has a huge impact um, on your overall quality of life. And overall, she's an, a, a very happy uh, young lady now um, and so that was an extremely positive outcome for her. The introduction of the Dansac tray seal has proved to be a real game changer for myself and for my team in our practice. The buffering technology has proved 
proven to be extremely effective in maintaining skin health. And we hope that in the future this technology, this buffering technology, will be expanded further into the Densac portfolio.